السلام علیکم اس پروگرام کا افتتاح خیرات سے کیا جائے گا connection with the welfare of the minorities in our country, especially in our own state. We ask you to bless this assembly, bless those who are in charge of organizing this function, so that all of us will contribute whatever we can. Now say the prayer which your son Jesus taught us, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. in the country, I am proud to have been asked to say a few words of Zoroastrian prayers. This is a very elementary two-line prayer and I will explain to you its meaning after I have recited it in Avastha. Ashem Vahu Vahishtem Ashti 
उष्टा अस्ति उष्टा आम्माय आदेशाय वहिष्ठाय अशे एंड यू विल ब्रिंग हैप्पीनेस बिकॉज हैप्पीनेस ऑफ अदर्स इज द ग्रेटेस्ट हैप्पीनेस फॉर योर सेल्फ थैंक यू इधर में अर्पा संख्या आयु की संपूर्ण वर्ग की स्थिति की प्रतिनिधि और न सुना लू अल्पसंख्या आयु का एक साथ मिलकर हर उद्दिष्ट में बाकी ओर से मैं मन पूर्वक धन्यवाद देता हूं now prayers from the sikh community tu uthaav kar tum pe ardas jiyo pind sab teri ras tum maat pita hum barik tere तुमरी कृपा में सुख नेरे कोई ना जाने तुमरा अंत ऊंचे ते ऊंचा भगवंत सगल समग्री तुमरे सूत्रधारी तुम ते होए सो आज्ञाकारी तुमरी गत में तुम ही जानी नानक दास दा कुर्बानी नानक नाम चढ़दी कला तेरे भाने सरबत का फल वाहगुरु जी का खालसा वाहगुरु जी की जोगद सिरी बेलकी नली तुंगे तने बेलकी नली सह्याद्री अलोह दति रहु तुंगद निलकी नली नित्य हरि ध्वर्णवन दते गगंध तरुगणे नित्योत्सव ताई नित्योत्सव निनगे नित्योत्सव ताई नित्योत्सव इतिहास नहि मदली न सिंहासन मालियल गत साहस सरदार तरलोचन साहब चेयरमैन मास्टर मैन ऑफ दिस कमीशन श्री एस एम कृष्णा जी आंध्र ऑफ द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ कर्नाटक श्री बंगारपा जी मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट और फॉर्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर श्री सी के जाशंकर शरीफ हैज टू कम नाउ मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट नेशनल कमीशन ऑफ द नेशनल National Commission for the Chairperson of Minorities Commission. We have come from various states, members of Council of Ministers, members of Parliament, legislators, and other distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is a matter of immense pleasure for me to welcome you all on this very important occasion. You hold the conference in Karnataka. Fortunately, 
manage the entire national commission is here as the chairman, that's along with Dr. Usmani, Vice Chairman, Sri Yar, Sherwani, Sri Vivi Augustine, Sri Ven, B. Arya, Nagarjana Suri, Sasi, Lieutenant General Yeram Chetna, and Srimati K. Shantaradi, the district members of the commission. I welcome them all. Chairman Sayyidi. Our beloved Chief Minister Sri S.M. Kishnaji has weathered many a storm during his tenure as Chief Minister. But he has not allowed the storm to slow down the pace of progress in the state. He has always been very considerate to the matters concerning minorities. All suggestions, I recall, sir, the happiness which you expressed when I informed you that the National Commission has agreed to hold their conference here at Bangalore. We have not only extended all support, but have actually taken personal interest in alignments uh, made for organizing this conference, sir. It is only because of your fullest support the conference could be organized at this scale. You also willingly considered to our request to inaugurate the conference. I extend my hearty welcome to you, sir. See, Bangarapaji, our former chief minister is known for his dynamism, efficiency and courage. He is quick, decisive and has very clear thinking. He has given a new direction to the administration during the Chief Minister. His concern for minor, minorities is reflected in the fact that he had sent a special team to Kerala to study the reservation policy because he was informed that it was favorable, favorable to minorities. Since I know him personally for decades, I am aware of his sympathetic attitude towards minorities. Therefore, Janab Jafar Sharif sir is to come now. Sri Malkarjuna Kharjaji, our Home Minister, has been having a tough time with the communal forces which are trying to raise their ugly heads in the state. He is dealing with them with an iron hand. He accepted the invitation to grace this occasion and is here with us. I welcome you, sir. Sri Dharam Singh Ji, our PWT Minister is known as the minor man in his constituency and whenever I meet him either in his office or elsewhere, I see around him people belonging to minorities. He has accepted our invitation and he is with us. I welcome you, Dharam Singh Ji. K. Rahman Khan, the member of parliament and first national census work, the survey report prepared by him has been appreciated by one and all. We invited him to become Minister for Labor, Labor who had made use of the data collected by Sri Raman Khan and based on the, that prepared a national plan for the comprehensive enforcement of minorities in various fields. He is also here and extend him, welcome to him. Most honored Ignatius Pinto, the Archbishop of and Empowerment of Nobility, he has a very soft heart. He has a charming personality and is among the most respected religious sects in the state. I and my friend Mr. T.J. Bhagra has been about the commission approaching at the Bishop House. He received us with all humility and when was requested to address the minorities with a second without a second thought, he accepted the invitation and has raised this occasion. We are grateful to you and extend you a very warm welcome, sir. On the very respect our Nifty Sahib has not come. Sardar Joginder Singh Shagarwal, the President of Guru Sangha Sabha, hold a very important office among our six brothers. He heads an organism which has taken a very welfare scheme, not only for the benefit of the Sikh brethren, but also of others. One could visit the Gurdwara one any day. The inmates in the institution in the Gurdwara are non six. He has been kind enough to accept our invitation and is among us. I have truly welcome you, Jogan Singh Sahib. Sri Sri Dibhi Chandra Gada. Sri They are so very dear to me and deserve so much to, of tribute to be paid uh, to them that if I start welcoming you, and further, sir, I am submitting a report 
2003 to Andhra Pradesh election, sir. I want to uh, present a few of the items which have been included in the report with the representatives of the minorities here at the state headquarters. After acquainting ourselves with the basic issues concerning minorities, we started during intensively in the districts. We studied the educational, financial, and other institutions run by and by the minorities and identified the problems they encountered. We met a cross section of minorities' population, their involvement in the various issues concerning their education, economic status, their employment in the government department, quasi government bodies, and public and private sector. We also made an assessment held meetings with the officers of the development department and police officers in the office of the deputy commissioner. During these meetings, we reviewed the progress achieved in implementing of the Prime Minister 15 point program. With the deputy ministers and the superintendent of police, we discussed various similar issues. Let me tell you, sir, the entire government mission has fully cooperated with the commission in its functioning. There has been perfect understanding among the members of the commission. All matters taken up by the commission were discussed at length and conclusion were arrived at with weakness, and we have pointed them out without mincing words. But our criticism has been constructive. Some of the major recommendations made are as follows. The contents uh, of development program like Sarva Sikshana, Abhyana, supply of computers, construction of classrooms, etc. To cut down the dropout rate at all lower primary schools for linguistic minorities be upgraded in a phase manner to higher primary level. Special measures be taken to popularize Kalna among the minorities by giving incentives to them. Special rules be framed to improve the representation of minorities in police department. A special cell headed by DIG to be established in the office of the State Minorities Commission exclusively to keep monitoring the communal situation in the state and still to maintain communal harmony. Persons belonging to minorities communities should be given special consideration while making nominations to various boards, corporation commissions, cooperative unions, local bodies, and university bodies like syndicate and senate, etc. The recommendation by, made by the backward class commission to raise from six, 4 to 6 percent the quantum of reservation in movement for candidates belonging to category 2B to be considered favorable a decision there will be taken expeditiously. To ensure the social economic benefit reach the minorities in proportion, but I am sure, sir, you will pursue the matter and consider the recommendation made therein very favorably. With, with your minority friendly approach, you have won recognition of the as the champion of minorities, the number of minority community members in your council of ministers, and the number of parties. I am sure this attitude of yours towards minorities will be fully reflected in the decision you take and the recommendation contained in this report before you place the same on the table of both the houses of legislature in the prescribed manner and as in your say in section 15 of the State Minorities Commission Act 1994 with the fair and hope that all recommendations made by us will be State Minorities Commission Chairman Hello. Hello. Sri Amin Aziz Ahmad is presenting Commission's report to Honorable Chief Minister. Yes, 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 yes,
ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಶುಭ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕೈಗೊಳ್ಳುವಾಗ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಬೆಳಗಿಸುವುದು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಅಂತೆಯೇ ಈ ದೀಪಗಳ ಉಜ್ವಲ ಬೆಳಕಿನಂತೆ ಇಂದಿನ ಸಮಾವೇಶವು ಬೆಳಗಿ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸಮಾಜಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂತೋಷ ಹಾಗೂ ನೆಮ್ಮದಿ ನೀಡಲೆಂದು ನಾವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಆಶಿಸೋಣ ಆನರೇಬಲ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಮಿಷನ್ ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಡ್ಜ್ಮೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಮೀ ಇಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಷರ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾರ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ladies and gentlemen it gives me pleasure and behalf of the government and on my own to extend a warm welcome to all of you we have been going through a severe drought for the last 3 years and it is always through bangalore city in the last day and a half <coughs> when the chairman of the karnataka commission for minorities suggested to me that he was planning to convene a meeting of this kind i thought that was a great idea and the discussions that you are going to have uh, today and tomorrow and the interactive sessions that you are going to have by exchanging notes in private as to what has been done in various states and how together we could be moving towards understanding the problems that confront the minorities in this country we are a multi religious <coughs> multicultural multi racial and multilingual country our civilization is therefore a product of the cumulative efforts of all the people who have settled here irrespective of what race or region they belong to and what religion they follow and what language they speak the contribution of uh, the muslims the christians the sikhs and the jains and the buddhists and the parsis has been enormous though hinduism has all along played a dominant role the contributions made by all these religious groups towards spiritual and social enrichment 
has been of profound importance. Sikhism has also profoundly influenced the religions, the religious, the cultural and political life of the country. All of us know what important role Guru Nanak Ji played in uniting the people of different regions. Several contributions made by the Muslims and Christians <coughs> is known and is recorded by history. The Indian nation is a mosaic of different religions, cultures and languages. It wouldn't be wrong for us to claim that in Karnataka is a mini India. In our state, we have people belonging to various races following different religions and speaking different languages. The minority's population in the state is around 80 to 80 lakhs to one crore. And we all live happily sharing with each other our joys and sorrows. The unhappy development in some of our states have created more than a sense of concern to all of us. Communal violence to some has become a way of life. But to all of us who are gathered here this morning, secularism and our commitment to secularism is the bond that unites us all together. We cannot be complacent. Destructive forces, divisive forces are at work. They are working over time. And they are trying to make inroads into those states where there is relatively greater communal harmony. Society is sought to be divided in the name of religion, all these artificial barriers which are being created by elements which are inimical to our basic thinking. We have to be vigilant. We have to crush mercilessly all those forces which try to play upon the religious sentiments. Any effort to create a communal divide in our state is going to be put down mercilessly. Because it is not, because it is, not because it is expedient, but because it is our commitment. Karnataka has a long history of communal harmony. Even though here and there, efforts are being made to upset communal harmony to create mutual distrust.
taken special care to promote education amongst them. We have quite large number of educational institutions for minorities and we are very liberal in giving permission to the minority minorities and other voluntary organizations to start their own institutions. The languages and have permitted minorities to start five medical colleges, five dental colleges, eight pharmacy colleges, 11 engineering colleges, 19 polytechnics, 69 ITTs, and a large number of other degree colleges speaks of our concern and our commitment for education institutions, which were mentioned by me earlier. Let me assure you that government will not be found wanting in sanctioning those institutions. In the last few days, I have received a number of applications for starting of uh, teachers' educational uh, institute, TCH, as it is abbreviated in nursing schools. Government will sanction all those applications which are with us. And let me add that we are not doing anything special for minorities. Because I have yesterday sanctioned 256 TCH institutions. You might ask as to why you have sanctioned so many. The reason is that why did we sanction so many medical colleges? Why did we sanction so many uh, uh, engineering colleges? So what applies to engineering colleges? What applies to medical colleges? Certainly should uh, apply to every other educational institution, courses. Hence, I would like minority organizations to come forward, promote cooperative institutions, promote cooperative societies, promote uh, other voluntary organizations, and you come forward to government, and government will certainly help you out. We have a few first to our credit. We are the first state in the country to have a cooperative wing headed by a joint register of cooperative societies attached to the state minority commission to popularize cooperative movement among the minorities. Ours is the first state which has conducted a complete and door-to-door socio-economic and educational survey of minorities and has prepared based on this data collected during the survey, an action plan for overall development of minority. Allocations for this purpose have been made. We are the only state in the country which has given 4% reservation exclusively for Muslims in government equipment to all cadres and in all, uh, yeah, and in allotment of seats to professional colleges. <coughs> we have in Karnataka a separate directorate for minorities' welfare. This directorate has taken up quite a few programs to promote education among the minorities. It runs pre-metric, post-metric hostels and residential schools and sanctions stipend to the ITI and polytechnic students and also to large graduates. It organizes coaching programs for candidates belonging to minorities to prepare them for competitive examinations. Since minorities in rural areas were experiencing difficulties in organizing functions and social gatherings, we are implementing through this department the scheme of giving financial assistance to minorities 
for constructing shadi mahals and community halls. We have 4,159 Urdu schools, 1,225 Marathi schools, 219 Tamil schools, and nearly 200 <laughs> This directorate is given the responsibility of improving teaching standard in the minority schools, taking care of the infrastructure facilities like supply of furniture, equipment, teaching aids, etc. It is also working for the modernization of Sanskrit patshalas and Arabic madarsas. To enable this directorate to function more effectively, we have a proposal. He wanted me to increase the governmental uh, guarantee, the state government's guarantee for whatever loans they get from Government of India at a very reasonable rate of interest. I believe uh, there is a ceiling of uh, 20 crores on that. Now he wanted me to raise it to 50 crores. But I wish I could accept that before you clap. But the resource position of the state has to be continuously looked into before we make public commitment. But right away, keeping in view, keeping in mind the, uh, the, the, the occasion which I am addressing, and the very distinguished men and women who have come from all over the country to Bangalore. Let me make this announcement that we are raising it to 30 crores in the, the, the currently. And also, he also drew my attention to the fact that we give them 13 crores. Right away, I will increase that grant to 15 crores so that in my next budget, which is going to be placed before the state legislature, we can improve upon it and uh, perhaps you know, I will go before the legislature with whatever we have to say. Mr. Tarlochan Singh, with his vast experience, is heading uh, the commission. And we are indeed very happy that he and his other colleagues have been able to make it to Bangalore. And I hope that uh, there will be uh, I hope that uh, uh, you will have a very fruitful deliberations in the two days that you are meeting with your colleagues and with my colleagues. I would uh, uh, I would uh, like to uh, convey to the distinguished uh, friends who are on the dais and all those who are gathered here. Honorable, this uh, conference here I think it's a milestone in the history of minorities. We are grateful to Mr. Tanvachit, Sardar Tanvachit, for having selected the Garden City of Bangalore as the venue for the second national conference. Sir, as you are going away, Sir, Sir, my Honorable Chief Minister, as you are, since you are going away, Chief Ministers in our state. I thank you very much, very much for it. Speech and for all the promises they have given us. Thank you, sir. Honorable Chairman of 
the National Commission for Minorities, Sri Sardar Tarlochan Singh Ji, and the honorable members of the National Commission, honorable chairman of the state Minorities Commission, Sri Aziz Ahmed Ji, and the other honorable members of the commission, and Honourable Chairman and the other Honourable Members of the Commissions who have come down here from the different states of the country, distinguished delegates, my esteemed friends sitting in the dais and in the conference, ladies and gentlemen. I consider this as not only my privilege, but also my primary and bounden duty to come out in some parts of the world or the globe, but not the entire globe. We have been experimenting the largest democracy in the world, of which we are proud, very much proud. And successfully we have experimented, in spite of many of the known and unknown hurdles. But let it not be forgotten, said Vesel, that we are equally experimenting. And another latest idea, wherein several different <coughs> thinkings in the, the major groups. I think our is the, one of the biggest countries to my knowledge, having experimented this successfully. Everyone has contributed his own might. If you just look back to the sacrifice made during pre- and post-independence era, let us just go back. Though the freedom struggle, what kind of sacrifice our, father, our forefathers made down from not only major communities. Everybody knows that we are the whole part and parcel of the whole national ministry. Everybody has contributed for our national ministry, keeping in view. That is why the smaller democracies have different divergent views or different views in the other parts of the globe are continuously looking forward towards our India because we have given that kind of leadership in the entire world. The only thing that is that has now become a very factor is how far and to what extent our minorities as enshrined in the constitution, our constitution is not a small thing. Though we do many of the the structure of our society, the structure of our society, very, very important. That is why, at the great list of Dr. Ram, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, the honorable members of that commission, in fact, while writing the constitution, they thought it fit. They had to be given, in respect of many of the items under the constitution, to uplift. Sometimes, sometimes, if we just look at the other societies at the global level, I feel sometimes a community is a major one on the island. The Catholic Christian community is the major community when compared to the Protestants. Whereas the Catholics who are in majority outside Northern Ireland are in minority in Northern Ireland. That is very, very poor politically socially, economically, and military also, to knuckle down before a superpower of the group. We condemn the catastrophe. We condemn the catastrophe. I call it a military occupation of some of the major countries. And that was in this question, though I feel it is not out of the place if I just mention this, the same principle is repeated for in getting the independence of the country, 
their contribution huge one very huge one therefore we will to keep all these things in mind while discussing why a special status is accorded in our constitution when constitution was written by our constitution writers under the leadership, great leadership of Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. Now, many of the points in fact can be discussed in this conference. Actually, 50 point programs of the Prime Minister, they are there. They are there. I am not now taking your attention to into the details of each of the item, though I know many of the matters. If I can thank our uh, um, state miners corporation also, chairman also is here. We must thank them also. They are also doing good job to the best extent possible for them. Minorities are a global phenomenon. That's why I refer to the Iraq. It's a global phenomenon. Rights are granted to minorities. Uniform growth of all sections of the society cannot be ensured. Why did they insert this article in the Constitution? After all, our entire society is just like a human body. Yes, major governments are just like head, heart, chest, abdomen, and big, big legs, big, big hands. But don't forget, every big hands, without five fingers like minorities, it can't make a good palm, a good hand, a good human being, good structure the human being. That's it will be, it will be, it will be the vision, yes, state level and also at the national level. I wish you all success in your delegation. Thank you very much. Alpasankat Samitya Adyaksh Radha Sriman. Tarlo and Sin Lore Egitane Kinotana Vedike Mele Puritanta Sachu Samputada Hiria Sachu Mitre Lok Sabha Sadashare Idi Rastinda Agami Sadanta Minority Commission na thago mitra. Igagle Sri Manasya Krishna ji oru anek karyakram gana na goshi sida. Goshi sida. Adrally minority commission na yavriti agi. Kelsa Madhubhya Koo Mantu Visheshwagi Eek Kottanta Recommendation Sanna Yastu Mattike Na Vapkulati Varantak Kanta Danna Eek Agile Heli Dhan Visheshwagi Minority Development Corporation Ghe Sumaru Muvath Koti Rupai Varighe Guarantee Anna Enhance Maadutak Kanta Du Mattu Commission has sumaru one forty rupee budget and a hechina provision part of Kanta do. He gave any none of Samantha Patanta recommendations in any way. Andre communal harmony. Communal harmony was Kara Yene no Alp Sankata Adex Rukotida Adana Sumaru hundred point of Kotida Hechu Kerme. A hundred point only, Sana Putta Visheshwagi, police station only, Constable Nahechina, Bharti Martha Kantadu, Communal Harmony Kuskara, Interactions Martha Kantadu, Matu Sub Inspector in the Atwa Ti Banga Karneki Koshiski, to Ye Sarkar, Bardas, Kabibi Nakaregi, Yamakami. चाहे वो कितना भी बड़ा ताकतवार फोर्स हो, चाहे वो कितना भी बड़ा शक्तिशाली संगठन हो, ऐसे संगठनों को दबा के रखने की शक्ति कर्नाटक सरकार में है, 
और हम आपके आशीर्वाद से उसको पूरा करेंगे ऐसा मैं कहूँगा कि मैं सुन रहा हूँ छोटे मोटे कुछ वहाँ पर छुटपुट कभी होते रहते हैं तक बड़ा शांत है चार साल में आज तक कोई कम्युनल क्लासेस हो या कम्युनल राइट्स हो या लूटमार हो इस चार साल में एक भी घटना नहीं है और मैं फकर के साथ ये कहूँगा कि इस चार साल में कम्युनल राइट्स के लिए या कम्युनल हारमोनी हिफाजत करने के लिए एक फायरिंग की भी एक फायरिंग भी इस कर्नाटक में नहीं हुआ यानी ये मैं गर्व गर्व के साथ कहना चाहता हूँ चाहे कोई इसको आ, अपनाने दो या ना अपनाने दो ये तो इतिहास है और हमारे सामने जो कुछ भी चला है ये घटने सारे चीज़ों को मालूम है लेकिन छोटे मोटे चीज़ें जो भी होते हैं उसको निपटाने के लिए और उसको बंदोबस्त करने के लिए हमारी पूरे पुलिस पूरी कोशिश कर रही है सरकार पूरी कोशिश कर रही है और खासकर यहाँ के माइनॉरिटी के मिनिस्टर्स और हमारे जो एम एल एज हैं एम पीज हैं हमेशा हमको साथ देते हैं और जहाँ कहीं भी छोटा मोटा घटना होता है उस घटना को दुरुस्त करने के लिए या वो छोटे मोटे गलती को सुधारने के लिए वो हमेशा हमारा साथ दिए हैं सरकार का साथ दिए हैं और कुछ छोटा मोटा अगर लोग दोष भी हुआ है तो उसको सुधारने की कोशिश उन्होंने भी की है तो इसलिए मैं गवर्नमेंट के ओर से मेरे ओर से उन तमाम नुमाइंदों को रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स को मैं हार्दिक अभिनंदन देता हूँ क्योंकि ऐसे शांति रखना ये बड़ी बात है जब शांति मुल्क में होती है या राज्य में होती है तो उस वक्त ही तरक्की होती है जिस मुल्क में या जिस राज्य में अमन नहीं है शांति नहीं है तो तरक्की हासिल नहीं कर सकता तो आज कर्नाटक में जो तरक्की देख रहे हैं या जो भी इन्वेस्टमेंट आ रहे हैं बाहर के या जो कुछ भी नए नए इंस्टीट्यूशंस इस्टेब्लिश हो रहे हैं तो ये सारी चीज़ें मैं कहूँगा कि यहाँ पर अमन शांति रहने के वजह से ये सब हो रहा है तो इसलिए मैं ज़्यादा कुछ ना कहते हुए मैं इतना ही कहूँगा कि हमको सबको मिल चलना है एकता से चलना है और ख़ास जो ताकतें इस मुल्क में एकता को तोड़ना चाहते हैं या शांति भंग करना चाहते हैं उसके खिलाफ भी हमको लड़ना है तो इसलिए मैं आप तमाम से यही दरखास्त करूंगा कि ऐसे वक्त आप लोग सरकार को मदद करके हम लोगों को आशीर्वाद करके कोऑपरेशन देकर इन समस्याओं को हल करेंगे ऐसे विनती करते हुए मैं मेरे भाषण को समाप्त करता हूँ जय हिंद जय कर्नाटक